Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George, and as you can see, I'm in a big battleship this time. It's kind of a battle cruiser, but it's a lot bigger than some of the ships I've shown in the past, and the reason I've chosen this bigger ship is because I want to talk a little bit about crew management. Now, in the ship designer, I've set eight crew members in this ship, and as you can see, um, this ship is kind of larger and has a bunch of guns, but not all of the guns are being controlled by the console that I'm currently in. I'm aiming pretty much the big guns here. I can fire them, and I can fly the ship, but how, how can I control those guns? Well, the answer is, um, there's another room here connected to the bridge, which is like a gunnery console, and I can go in there, and now I'm, now I'm controlling these guns. But I can't, there's no travel drive, I can't control the ship at all, so... Um, so, the question is, logically, how do you control both parts of the ship? And the answer, of course, is you use your crew. So, I have an item in my inventory. I actually have a bunch of items in my inventory. I have some guns. And you've seen how guns work. You know, you equip them, you shoot them. Good for raiding and shooting enemies that are controlling other ships if you want to steal someone's ship. But, not very good at ordering your crew around. Um, used to be a long time ago, you'd just click on stuff. They did whatever you wanted, but that kind of made it hard to have guns, right? So now we have a communicator. And what the communicator does is it basically brings back the old functionality of being able to click on any tile and have a context-sensitive sort of order for your crew. Um, but it adds another feature that I can click on crew and tell them, okay, here, come over to the bridge and or go to the airlock. And um, I have crew all over my ship because I specifically put eight of them in this ship. Um, you don't have to click on an individual crew to give them orders. You can give kind of general orders like hey, I want someone to use both of these consoles, and it'll pick someone for you, and they'll sort of run to that console and start flying the ship. Now, uh, there aren't, there's nothing out there, and they don't have any orders. So they're just, just sitting there. So I'm going to kick this guy off the bridge by using it myself. Um, but you saw the other guy went in to control the um, little machine guns in the back there. So if I spawn another ship, he'll detect the threat and sort of start shooting at it for me. Um, and I'm still controlling the, the movement, but he's now like my gunner. And I can control the big guns while he controls the little guns, that sort of thing. Um, likewise, I can just be like, tell you, hey, you go ahead and fly the whole ship for me. And now, at this point, the AI is fighting for me. I don't have to do anything. I'll, you know, I can peruse around the ship, check stuff out. I can look, see where I'm taking some damage up front. Not taking a lot of damage. Nothing really going on inside the ship. Um, and at the same time, I can go over here and I can take control of the uh, sort of the gunnery console while the AI is flying, and I can just shoot the machine guns. It looks like we kind of took that guy out. Maybe I better take over and go over there to control. Now, the reason I haven't shown a lot of uh, uh, crew management sort of stuff in single player is because right now the code doesn't allow crew to use airlocks. Airlocks is the only way to move from one ship to another. And if the AI crew can't use airlocks, that means you can't get them into your ship from the space station, and you can't move them from your ship onto an enemy ship when you want to board it and take it over, you know, with your pirate buddies. So that's why there hasn't been a lot of videos of me demonstrating that feature, but that's one of the next features on the to-do list. I mean, you got to remember this is an ultra-early uh, pre-alpha version of the game. Not everything's in yet. The plan, ultimately, is for your station to have a big cloning vat where you can use the same resources you use when spawning ships to just spawn buddies. Um, you might also pick up some unique a NPC friends along the way that have some special abilities. Um, I I've shown before that, uh, oh, I don't have one now, the Nano Aura item gives kind of a ship-wide bonus of uh, repairing your ship passively while you're sitting in it. Um, you might find crew members that have unique effects like that, and just having them on your ship will give you special bonuses um, for being there. So, so there is going to be crew management, and there is going to be, um, you know, you aren't going to be flying these ships alone, it's just the reason that you haven't seen it in the current version is because, um, is because they can't go through airlocks. And so the, the final thing that I wanted to show is, um, is well, I don't know if I'm going to, if it's going to be effective. I'm not quite taking enough damage, so I think I'm going to have to use some debugging commands to show you how repairing works. Um, obviously one of the 
one of the things you're going to want to do um, with crew is have them sort of take care of the repair operations. So I'm going to shoot this guy until he leaves me alone. There you go. Now he won't be such a threat. Um, but I'm going to do the same to myself so I can demonstrate um, crew repair activities. So if I blow a big chunk off of my ship, um, there's, I said the controls are contact sensitive. If you click, they figure out what you want based on where you clicked, and it will order crew to sort of solve the problems that you click on. So if you click on a console, they go and use that console. If they, if you click on damage tiles, they go and use the dam they go and repair the damage. If you click on fires, they'll go and put out the fires, and it's kind of smart. It just, it picks from the list of crew members who's going to do that order, but you can also manually select crew and say, okay, well, yeah, while those guys are repairing, you fly the ship, and while those guys are repairing, you shoot the guns. And then, now you've got two guys flying, shooting the enemies while you're in here, sort of micromanaging your crew, and telling this guy that he needs to um, go repair that. Yeah. So that's crew management. That's sort of what it's like to command a big battleship, and... Um, the idea is that you can, for the most part, fly a ship on your own, um, and I don't want to force people to spend a lot of time micromanaging their crew, but the AI characters in this game can do everything the player can do. Um, and in fact, there is really no difference between the player and the AI characters aside from how it's controlled. So um, eventually expect to see AI doing all sorts of interesting things in single player. And, uh, and that's pretty much the overview of crew control in Wayward Terran Frontier. So, thanks for watching, and catch you on the next update.